full day. It's a fun day as always we have for you and we know our friend to the show Dale Pollock is standing by for our what to watch with Dale segment. And he tells us what to watch and I'm always helpful or thankful for his guidance on this. Dale is with us. Good morning, sir. How are you doing today? Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Audrey. Good to be with you. All Thank right. You. Happy weekend to you too. Let's start with the Lost Flowers of Alice Hart. That's on Prime Video. Well, you know, during the writer's strike that just concluded, the streamers went out, the streaming services, and they bought a lot of foreign content. And this is one example of that. I'll have another one in the next review. But The Lost Flowers of Alice Hart was an Australian series, and Sigourney Weaver plays a grandmother who runs a pretty big shelter for uh, battered and abused women. And there is a uh, family issue that prevents her from seeing her granddaughter until her granddaughter is in jeopardy. And then she rises to the occasion to protect her. The series felt a little padded out at seven episodes. In fact, I actually thought it would have made a better feature film than a limited series because the drama would have been a little more intense. Um, two actresses play the young girl and they're both quite good. And it's Sigourney Weaver who you keep coming back to in the series. I just felt that it really didn't reach that level of being a great series mm -hmm. because it was too stretched out. Do you find that, Dale, that this is something that some of the streaming services kind of feel pressure. They have a story that they want to tell and like, well, we could tell this in a three hour movie or we can stretch this out for an entire season. I think you're absolutely right, Brian. The latter is what they're doing. They're taking these shows and they're stretching them out so they get as much play as possible mm -hmm. for the price that Netflix or Prime has paid. And Prime has really been a big mover in this area. They have bought a lot of foreign content which used to be really the province of Netflix, but Prime has stepped up. And you know, now that the writer's strike is over, you're gonna see, I think, more international stories because so many foreign writers were hired during the strike. Okay. What was your popcorn rating on this, Dale? Three popcorns because okay. of Sigourney Weaver's grounded performance. She's good. She I is like her. really, really a nice actress. Yeah. All right, next up we have on Netflix, this is called Fisk. What is this? I read a review of this and kind of stumbled on it. And let me tell you, it is a delight. Huh. I don't think I've laughed out loud so often during a series, really for all of this year. And the actress, Kitty Flanagan, who created it and plays this character, Helen Tudor Tusk, and she is a not very good lawyer <laughs> who had a fall from grace. Her career was ruined. She lives with her parents. It's really a big come down for this woman who is in her 40s. And this really lampoons the legal business, it, even though in Australia the rules are a little different. It's this character that brings you back. She is so endearing. She is so awkward. She is so impolite. And this series produces laughs in a way that very few other series have done for me. So I really highly recommend Fisk. I'm giving it four popcorns. I think it's the funniest series of the summer. Wow. The title <laughs> is throwing me off. Yeah. I don't love it. Do you have any idea why it's called Fisk? That's her character's name. Okay. And oh. she is center stage. Yes, she <laughs> is Kitty Flanagan Fisk. Okay, okay. So her first name is Kitty. Okay. Kitty Fisk. <laughs> what a name. Like, 40 something uh, and bad actress, lawyer living with your parents. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. And this actress, who I've never heard of before, just has great comic timing and she's willing to make herself look really foolish in the series, which just makes the comedy even bigger. Okay. I do appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, a, th a three popcorn and a four That's popcorn. Yeah. Let's talk about theater camp go. on Netflix. I'm afraid we're plunging oh. down to two pop. I was looking forward to this because it had an actor, I like Ben Platt, mm -hmm. who starred in both the play and the film version of Dear Evan Hansen. Okay. And then also Molly Gordon, who is very talented has been in some Saturday Night Live sketches. And she co-wrote this um, and she gets part of the blame because it's just not funny. Oh. And you can see they're trying to be funny. And for the first basically hour and a half almost, there are no laughs. And then the musical that they've been working on all summer on this theater camp actually is performed and it's terrific. 
So the series makes a uh, the, the movie makes a big comeback in the last half hour, but it's too late. I think yeah. many people will already left because it's it's not amusing, it's not funny, it's not insightful. I, I just think it was a concept that didn't work uh, with this cast. Uh, again, as good as Molly Gordon is, but they waste uh, Io Edbiri, who is the co-star of The Bear, and really shines in that series. And I was excited to see her in this cast, and she's in the movie for maybe 10 minutes and has nothing to do. Mm. And when you're wasting a talent like hers, that's kind of criminal yeah. also. To me, theater camp just falls flat. Did you see the trailer for this by chance, Dale? I, I did not. I missed okay. that. I did not see it either. I will look for it, though, too, because some of these comedies, when they first come out on streaming, you watch the trailer, and I guess this is true with network television, too. If you see the trailer and the trailer's not funny, that's usually, and it's supposed to be funny, right. it's, yeah, it's, I don't think it's worth your time, yeah. so I was curious about that. It can be the kiss of death sometimes. <laughs> kind of is, yeah. <laughs> and that was two popcorns we heard him say yeah. at the top. Two popcorns. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. A little bit of everything this morning, which always That's is right. nice. Four, three, and two. Dale, thank you as always for your time. Have a wonderful weekend. And for everyone at home, here are those titles one more time. The Lost Flowers of Alice Hart on Prime Video. Fisk on Netflix. Also on Netflix, theater camp. You can find more reviews online at dalempollock.com and of course